to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews, presented by HollywoodFrodo.com. I, of course, am Eric, and today we're going to be talking to you about this little gadget, um, which has been all the buzz in the last couple of months. This is the uh, Google Chromecast. So, uh, basically what it is, it's sort of Google's uh, latest answer to Apple TV or Roku. Uh, those type of devices, except as you can see, it's tiny. It's just this little dongle. It has a HDMI uh, uh, attachment there on the end. You basically just plug that into your HDMI uh, uh, input on a TV or on a receiver. And uh, this is the micro USB that you use this little uh, micro USB cord to plug it into and you can plug it uh, directly into a USB powered USB slot if you have one or you can plug it into the uh, uh, plug-in adapter that they include uh, with the Chromecast. So very little uh, setup, very little space, you just plug it in. Um, as far as streaming goes, uh, at the time of this uh, review there are limited things that are available but still great at what it does you can do a Netflix you can do YouTube you can do Google Play Music um, if you're subscribed to that and uh, you can also buy or rent uh, Google movies from the Google, Google Play Store and most recently they've added Hulu support but uh, depending on when you're watching this they're planning on adding more and more uh, services. Um, probably in no time they'll have all the same services uh, that uh, any of the other like Roku or your Blu-ray player or anything like that has. Now we already had a, uh, a Blu-ray player that had YouTube and had Netflix and a bunch of other services. Um, so the question is why do I need this? Why would I want this? Well the way this works is awesome. Definitely the best way ever to stream YouTube videos on your TV. Um, aside from if you hook a computer up to your TV. But trying to stream YouTube through your Blu-ray player, if you've done that, or a lot of those other services, you're like going through and picking letter by letter to try to find something and it's just a, a pain in the rear. Um, and with this, the way the interface works, you, you're just on your phone and you bring up the YouTube video on your phone and then you send it to the Chromecast. And while it's playing on Chromecast, you can be browsing and loading up another video. And you can pause and restart and all that kind of stuff. Same thing with Netflix. When you're watching Netflix, uh, you can, uh, when you need to pause, you can just pause it. Uh, if you on your on your phone or if you were uh, sending it to Chromecast from your computer or a tablet um, works great so uh, in my opinion the best definitely the best way to stream YouTube also works really cool with Google Play Music and uh, also works great with Netflix so uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, show it to you in action show you how I have it set up uh, at uh, uh, on my entertainment system and uh, I'll show you how you, uh, with the Chromecast app installed on your phone or tablet or uh, with, uh, on your Chrome browser, how you can just easily and quickly just send a video straight to your TV. Okay, so uh, you see on my TV right there that uh, I have uh, a Chromecast channel up. Um, let's see if I can get a good shot. That's my receiver. And the little dot right, that dot right there, that's the uh, Chromecast. And you see I just have the USB cable uh, plugged into right there. My receiver has a powered USB uh, outlet on the front. So I just plug the uh, Chromecast, uh, the charging or the power cable into that and I am good to go. Um, on a side note, if you're wondering if you can power it off of HDMI, the answer is no. That's what I was hoping I'd be able to do, but I did a lot of research on it before I bought uh, the Chromecast. And as of right now, you cannot do that. So don't get it and think you're just going to plug it into the HDMI and that's it. You do have to plug it into a powered USB port or into a, a wall outlet with the adapter. Okay, so let's back back up here so you can see this and uh, you'll see the 
TV and uh, the scenery changes each time and uh, now let's see my phone and so uh, here we are on my phone and this is a, a video um, let's pick one of my videos because if I show someone else's video then I'm probably violating some copyright law but if I show one of my videos it's okay so uh, here's one of my videos so we're gonna play that and you'll see up here at the top there's the Chromecast button so I'm gonna hit that and then select the Chromecast device and so now it's sending it to my TV and so there you go Turn the volume down here so it doesn't interrupt us. So that's the YouTube video. Now while that's happening on our phone, we can browse to other videos. Let's see. You can pick this one. And see so one of the options is add to TV queue. So while one video is playing, you can be queuing up other videos to play, which is really, really cool. Um, or if you just want to play it, and you just hit it and click play. And because that, that Chromecast button, you see it's, it's blue, it's the whole little blue, which means it's active. So it's going to send that video to the TV. So you can go, uh, uh, you can go either way. And what's great is you have full control. So let's say I want to pause. It's on the TV. Uh, you have your, basically this becomes your remote. If you have videos queued up, you can go uh, to the next video, the previous video, or you can pause it, and it pauses on your TV right away. Um, so that's how it works. As you see, it works great. Uh, it works basically the same with Netflix, so uh, I'm not gonna show you that, uh, but it's basically the same thing. You just load it up and uh, uh, send it, and you're good to go. Um, let me. Sh I mean, I'm going to jump on my computer so I can show you just uh, one or two other things that you can do on there. Okay, so just to show you on my computer screen, uh, right here in this corner, you have the Chromecast button so you can send stuff uh, from your computer, a YouTube video. You can do the same thing with the Netflix, uh, Google Play Music on your computer as well. But the other thing that's kind of cool. Um, and this is considered a, a beta uh, uh, beta uh, feature right now, but I'm sure they're going to do more and more with it. Is there's a Chromecast button up in the top right? If you follow my cursor, you can see right there on the top right. And so if I click that, and it tells you cast this tab beta. Then I'm going to go back up to the TV, and you'll see that now what's on my computer screen is on my TV screen. Uh, it works great for browsing. It does not work good for playing video. Um, it doesn't have a good refresh rate, so it's not a kind of a good way to play video that Chromecast doesn't support as of yet. Um, but just for putting a, a browser up there and showing what's on that browser, and as you see as I scroll it scrolls um, and you can see as far as web pages go you can see it all uh, uh, very very clearly um, without any problem moving from different pages to different pages so yeah so that's another cool uh, thing that Chromecast can do I think that feature is going to get better and better um, to where you really can even do video and do anything on your TV that you could just as if it was your computer almost like you use your computer just for the keyboard and use the TV for your monitor if you want to um, it's already like I said it already does pretty good as you can see but I think it's gonna get even better so that's using uh, the computer to do it 